Hi, I'm Pat Gunn, and this is part of my Let's Play series for Fallout 4. And here you can see Greentop Nursery. I've turned it into a settlement, or well, rather, I've added my touches to it to make it feel a lot more like a proper settlement. I've added an area on top of the house, and I've built some kind of scaffoldy stuff, because this doesn't look super secure on its own, to hold a uh, generator. And we have some weapons that we've hooked up to the generator to uh, guard the place because we're producing a lot of food here. And uh, let's see. We have three people here right now. Big three for predicting beds. people. Caps to keep on building more, uh, more beds. Get a handle on what's driving I've someone. added an upstairs you know apartment. And a downstairs apartment. I kind of wish that you could get rid of these bushes because they definitely don't. It, uh, they, they break immersion, but, uh, but generally things are, are looking pretty good. Um, the place looks and feels like uh, like a place where some uh, somebody reasonably might decide to live. I'm not sure why I have so much uh, weight on my character again. Darn it. Uh, I've stored all my junk. 177? Yeah, I'm, I'm carrying a lot of weight, and I'm not sure what it is. Which I'm sure makes for absolutely gripping video here. Uh, do you want to drop off some iguana bits? Eat fruit. Now this is, this really is one of the least fun bits of Fallout 4. It's so easy to end up in a position where you just have so much weight, you're not sure where any of it is coming, uh, coming from. And you kind of feel a little help. Oh, flamers. That's what it was. It was those flamers. Anyhow. So I've looked most of this the same. I moved the chemistry station around the corner and added uh, a water pump over here. Uh, probably in future iterations, I'll, I'll do further things, certainly to add more beds. The reason I built some of this wall stuff is to make it hard for somebody who's tired of these turrets from just shooting the generator and suddenly having the settlement be defenseless. There's probably more I need to do on that front. Um, but, but generally things are, uh, are how I want them. Now there is a sinkhole over here that would be a fun place to explore, but right now we're kind of devoted to just taking care of the... Uh, taking care of the railroad quests up to the point where we can modify clothing to give it uh, weaves that greatly up its defensive uh, capabilities. <coughs> Once we have that, we'll ha we'll have we'll be able to mod up our um, our gear to the point where we're not going to be nearly as easy to kill as we are right now. Somewhere right around here, a little bit ahead. It's our next target. And we can hear that there's some battle nearby. Not our business, I'm sure. University Point. Okay. And there's also a place right by here. Just a little bit southeast of here, I think. Southwest of here. Okay, right near that water droplet. Let's take us kind of near where after that gunfire is happening. We're not going to be able to make it on top, so let's go below. Uh, sounds like super mutants. Uh, you can kind of hear their grunting. Or fighting somewhere. This is kind of neat, like an overpass between two buildings. In the real world, this does happen, but it's a little bit rare, and it, to, to actually be useful, you typically would have to have... Oh, it's like... okay. Well. I should have a battle. Uh, not so unstoppable, I guess that can stop you. Well guys, that's going to help. Or at least maybe 
need to make. But I have places to be. Apparently I'm supposed to be upstairs from exactly wherever I am now. I can see some stairs, but I don't see an easy way, way to get up there. But it looks like the ground is not flat, so let's weave around. Boston is like this in the real Anybody world. Anybody, help! Hurry, she's in here! Please help! Over here, I don't see it. Over here, I don't see it, but there are... There's an apartment building. Maybe I can get up top by going through the apartment. A lot of these quests are semi-randomized, so you're not really going to uh, super easily be able to tell. Oop, there's a crack. Well, it's going to do too much to me. And another trap. Another crash. Well, up we go. Outside. Here is outside. Sweet. Oh. You yes. know, ammo isn't cheap. Go Can we around. just pay you okay, to play dead? There's somebody down there. Hello. Before I met you, I go whole days without massacring a bunch of things. Honest. There you go. you got fun time. This is where we have to put the meal. Let's do it. Bit silly that we just put it there and it's we're low on it. That's, a, that's another super mutant. Okay. Well, so we can do to get downstairs. I would rate this as being fairly mediocre settlement. The problem is, unless you were to take the steps to seal off the, uh, the ground approach, which you really probably would want to, then. Then it's exceedingly. Uh, then you have a line of approach to where you are that's just not well enough guarded. Okay, so next. 
Uh, we want to secure the DIA cache, which is probably near the medical center, or maybe at the medical center. <coughs> to the greatest extent possible, any settlement in, in times of low security would be uh, something that you would want to, uh, you would want it to have the property whereby it would be easy to patrol. And if it's not, we got a live one. Oh. 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 oh, okay. like scattered laser rifles are all the rage. It's weird because they're not actually Interesting settlement. In the dark, you can't actually, you, wouldn't, you probably wouldn't even notice the scaffolding. You have good places this, to shoot from. This is a workout. Let's see if they left anything useful for us. You have reasonably well armed people. Enter. You have good traversability and possibly an escape route here. Yeah. You're, you are in an area, though, of fairly high complexity, which is a downside. <coughs> and that the ground around here, there's just so many features that it's going to be kind of hard to patrol at all. But for this area, you have a pretty good defensible uh, place. So where am I going? Uh, Hub 360. Okay. <coughs> Here is that the main entrance to this place is not the pl not the entrance that you want to use because there's multiple distinct uh, and isolated parts of this place. <laughs> This is don't die. This is the site, probably where I've had the most frustration. With, with this. I was hoping they'd all be dead. Reality, 
yeah, I think. Uh, well, make, make the game a bit more uh, To make it where if somebody hits you while you're not reloading your Running away is always an option. I won't shoot. Promise. New business model. We team up with a mortuary. You see where I'm going with this, right? Hey, what you need? You see if he had whatever. anything worth taking. Sure thing. Okay. So, yeah, the, you, the quest marker tells you to go in. Once you're inside, the quest marker tells you to go right back out again through the same doors that you entered. Not so accurate. Going down. So our task is to Second figure out floor. somehow how to Second get to floor. into the part of the building where we need Going to be. Get this cash. Pretty sure it's not here. To come out sooner or later. But maybe I'm wrong. My strongest memory is just being frequently frustrated with this particular quest because the quest markers are so unhelpful. Hey, waste of time. So here's an exit to the patio. <coughs> I think it doesn't help that from some angles your quest markers will point you at doors that appear to be to patios that don't have any connection anywhere else. Eventually later in the game we will probably get the boots that you would need Getting hungry. that will let you fall in the Look easy. Okay, so again, we're on a patio, but there's nowhere we can go from here. Oop, somehow we got some experience though. Always welcome. We'll be here all week. Yeah, so a scrap pile, probably set up by the super mutants, uh, or at least modified it. They'd still have to get the scrap here, and I doubt that they would be doing labor to pull it in. But they might have uh, done some arranging of it, of the raw materials. So upper floor. An exit. Now let's see where the elevator goes, I suppose, or, or where this door goes, rather. Great, it should take us where we need to go, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. <coughs> yeah, so there's a door somewhere down there. Sure, but you can't reach the door from up here. You can always use some more 
around. Now we did just shoot this guy from down there. But we'll keep on going up, and maybe that will take us where we need to go. But yeah, this is an irritatingly difficult thing to navigate. Again? free experience, but let's reload and where does this take us? And this is a long elevator ride. It is super bizarre that the elevators are so hardy that they've survived two hundred years. That's medicine, right? Okay, so a heated super sludge. It is an advanced super sludge. You don't often get those. You don't often see those, but... Not what we wanted. Take a quick nap to recover a little bit of health. And then we'll get down. We need to keep looking for how we're going to get into the right part of this building. <coughs> and while we do it, let's get rid of all the other quest markers so that there's no confusion about where we're trying to go. <coughs> oh, we're back here. Quite sure there's nowhere useful we can go from there. Or here. There's no other doors in this room. Right. Okay, so we'll head down again. Second. Oh. back where we started. This is the main exit to this area. The elevator did not get us anywhere useful. Although that is kind of interesting that there's a, there's a door there that will lead you there, but Yeah, so we're going to circle the building and see if we can find another way in. I'm sure that I'm not the first person by any means to have this frustration. So, first step, let's try the stairs. So we went up a bit. We were asked to go even further upstairs. Is there a way for us to do that? Annoying! Over! Unfortunately, if they're using energy weapons, then we can... Is where we want to be. Kind of, we can see the marker for there. But the problem is, how do we get there? The game is not particularly friendly towards giving us hints on how to reach that entrance. This isn't it. This is blocked off. You should note that I, I have done this quest before, but I don't re I remember how. Freak, uh, and every time I try, this is it. Every time this uh, this quest has come up with a new character, I've been stumped again and frustrated again. Oh, okay, maybe this is it. 
So this is the easiest I've ever had in, in making it here. Okay, this looks very promising. A 360 different entrance. Then Fallout 4 came out quite a long time ago, so you'd hope that eventually this kind of thing would sink in. Now I should note that that place up on the top of Hub 360, not actually that great of a, uh, of a home. The reason you might not want to do it is... that were to break, and there's no way you're going to safely get down. Okay, now you can do a little bit of looting of this place if you want to. The baseball grenade is kind of fun, although you don't get enough of them in the game for it to really be worth, uh, worth learning how to use them. There is a little bit more to this area than Interesting. Yeah, so you can kind of see why I was looking up. Because this actually is that up. And this takes us back down into the entrance down here. Uh, the thing is, without a jetpack or something like that... Whoa, interesting, I didn't spot. Maybe I did. But without a jetpack, you're not going to be able to make it to that location from down or from the entrance, uh, from the main entrance. <coughs> yeah, I guess that e emergency exitability thing, that's a rare concern. And maybe you could imagine that in many of the places where uh, entities set up shop in the Fallout world, they might be okay with uh, just clearing out some of the rubble if they need to exit some secondary way in an emergency because their main way broke. That's fine. Uh, but way up at the top of uh, Hub 360, that doesn't really work because you're just too high. And there are a few other places in the game, a small number, uh, one of which is coastal and has a ferry that takes you across the top that are like that. Okay, now University Point is the next place. And so looks like Jamaica Plain, which is one of our settlements, is the be best place to go to uh, to use as a jumping off point to make it there. <coughs> With the added benefit of letting us drop off. Jamaica Plain. Treasure hunters, corpses, and hard luck stories. Isn't the Commonwealth grand? Good. I hear the happy hum of uh, turrets that are defending my peeps. Uh, postman stuff looks good. Pro I probably won't ever wear it because it's endurance and charisma, neither of which are super important to this character. Okay, we're still a little bit high. The weight department, but we'll have to figure out some other way to get that down. Hopefully. So we're heading east. Let's see which east. Just about due east. Okay, so it should be this quest marker. Yeah, I find it deeply disappointing that you can't assign settlers to just clean up junk. And certainly drag off corpses. A pharmacy here. It's kind of interesting. And now we're at University Point. And we can hear some combat off in the distance. 
Got it. Take that, lock. We'll carefully slip in through the side door and see what our options are. Here we have a lectern up here, which Didn't is Didn't I see the set in horror film once? Not sure why you would put one there. We have a terminal and the door. <coughs> Town. Uh, some is plausible. Okay, S-O-M-E. Town. There we go. A very long time ago, Mass State was one of the big players in the Commonwealth. Without that... Okay, this so... This is City Radio, and I'm, uh, you know, this is me, Travis. We're inside, anyway, and there's... Cursor is up next. Uh, this I looks mean, like it was a bank. I don't think this song's all that great, really, but... Some people like it. And possibly this might have been left undisturbed for all the years. Over all the years since the, uh... See all nope, nothing in common. Seek. Seek has one thing in common. Uh, this is plausible. Oh good. Never let your guard completely down. This place safe. Well, we can be quite sure that nobody from before the war, well, almost sure, because we would be a counterexample, but we can be pretty sure that it's vanishingly unlikely yes. that anybody is going to come and look at this stuff. Oh, the button. And that is pretty cool. Let's, let's see what else we can get. Another safe. And another master lock. Well, we're certainly getting some good lock pr uh, picking practice here. Looks like a little bit to the left is our story. That's it. Great. And let's see what, what we've unlocked. Isolated with sleeping bags and a collapsed tunnel and excellent a laser rifle. And if I remember right, the advantage of that laser rifle is that it never needs reloading. And this was part of some secret weapons program. If you're interested, you can dig into the story for this. I believe that it was that there were some scientists here who were trapped, and uh, they were not able to escape. And so they kept on working until they perfected that prototype. Which is kind of cool in a way. You'll find uh, a few other stories like that in the world of Fallout, where you had people who were trapped somewhere, this is downright creepy. Where the apocalypse was. Or, or uh, end up having people trapped somewhere. Is someone present attacking the enemy? Oh, well, hello. That was offline. Of their weapon style. 
because they, they look a whole lot like a machine gun. They act a whole lot like a machine gun. They fire far more quickly. Terminating with extreme prejudice. Right now, where we are, told You know, I do like long, lazy, dull days, right? <laughs> There's a settlement? Well, we haven't seen enough of it yet to really judge it together. <coughs> what we have, we do have a completely enclosed area. We have farms with nice walls blocking everything off that were probably built after the war. We have even a sport court and we have a door here that leads to the outside world. You still could fire through that, but it wouldn't be the easiest thing to do. Plus, you have a place for guards up there. Like, if you had somebody up here watching, they could know when somebody's approaching and call for reinforcements. You have another exit out here. and an entrance to a vault, uh, except if I remember right, it's not actually opened up, so it's not really a concern. You have uh, that's a little mysterious. I'm not quite sure how you would get up there ordinarily. Maybe there's, there is a way. Let's see. Pretty sure I've never explored this before in any other game. Yeah, you do. Yeah, uh, this is a, not in the best state of repair, but it works. Yeah, so you have a pretty good setup here. This would be a good place to have a settlement. You might need to worry about mirelurks or something crawling up through here, but uh, it's not actually that. It's still fairly steep. You probably want to have a guard. I would maybe build a platform here or have somebody stationed here. Yeah, things are pretty good. Uh, this is this would be a great place uh, to have a settlement. Y you have everything you need. It's relatively self-enclosed. It's quite large. It could be a big settlement. <coughs> okay. Plus, you have this building, but you would either want to seal it off or take great care to keep it clean. Because the things that we're going to see would be things that settlers should be quite worried about. Uh, maybe a little further? Yeah. Yes. No lock will stand before us. So many locks in this game, I think. Sweet. Yep, grab all of that. Oh man. Everything is locked. That's it. And yeah, so murky nasty land. Yeah, that's not something you'd want to have. Fighting. Great. Well, not too much fighting. Hello. Movement detected. Here to stop the attack was unsuccessful. And now you must die. No one's been in here. You won't stay hidden for long. Hostile sensor reading. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Did not mean to hit you. Although on 
honestly. I don't take great care to avoid hitting you. Terminating any stealth capabilities. to be to see where your post might be. Where did you go? Live to fight another day. And night. And day. Ooh. Killing these old kids always... We got them. Back before I met you, I'd go whole days without massacring a bunch of things. I am equipped with Honest. the most advanced institute sensor available. I will find you. Very nice. If they return, I will be ready. door here, see what we can see. But yeah, quest markers tend to lead you astray a lot in Fallout. So while we're focusing on gear, I suspect uh, pretty soon we're going to want to do... It takes a real slob to achieve this level of It's almost impressive. This is kind of interesting. So apparently in, in the 200 years since the apocalypse, this is something that's a lot more akin to what you would actually see. Large, uh, large, dis large scale dis destruction. Yes. Of things. It'd be interesting if the reason behind this, between seeing this here and not seeing it more generally, would be that these are university facilities and so they're older buildings. Uh, ooh, can you move? Can't get by you. Move it. Move it. The seagulls, pretty nasty. Pencil. Oh, and also, uh, a fun fact, in the Fallout world, pencils are, are actually are made of lead. In the real world, I don't know if they, they ever were, but they certainly aren't now. Okay, so here we are on top of the University Point, which I'm pretty sure, yeah, no previous game, I'm pretty sure in no previous game have I ever been, uh, been up here. Not that it's the most interesting thing in the world, but it's something. Yeah, there's not a whole lot up here to do, but it's kind of cool. You can imagine that the people who lived at University Movement Point... Detected. <laughs> Probably a kid up there. System is offline. Okay, so we've cleared the hostels at University Point. I think we've done this set of three quests. So let's head back and see if that is enough to unlock us the armor improvements. There's more going on than you know. Trust me. Carrington hey. wants work. Another meal of place and even more data. You got the time? I or we could just do some business. Anything new? Ooh, hymns like the atmospheric sun. Let's see what you got. Oh, you got it. Okay. So. Is there anything interesting that we can do to sell some of this stuff? Institute weapons. Maybe we can imagine the railroad making use of those. After all, synths, in a sense, are institute weapons. Kind of a gold way of thinking about it, but. Can 
he's not selling any of the nicer gear yet. It would be nice if I were to see him selling it. Um, let's see, what else might we... Excuse me. Hey, I got everything you field agent types need. Even if you Uh huh. I'll take a look. Made a new batch of Nope. Okay. So I don't see any of that. Maybe. Based off what Deacon said, I expect great things from you. I cleared out some Gen 1s for Randolph's safe house. Randolph is still operational? <sighs> Finally. Right. But Randolph. If that's your call, it is. Our only community check in periodic. Okay, spoke with her. You from one of those vaults? You got Glory. too many teeth to be Tom scared. and his boys are still unloading all the toys you found from the DIA. Nice. We got a lot of sense in play right now. It makes things really dangerous. Ah, good, you're here. There's been a development. A raider gang has captured one. Uh -huh. Desdemona clings to the fall, so she wants you. Sure. If Blackbird's alive... As you see fit, the dead drop has the full briefing. Uh-huh. Okay, there's another We're all the sins got. Hey. Bet you never met a sin before glory. Analyzing. You Task can send a runner complete. to the DIA cache. Reward dispensed. Solving. For theta n, when yeah, I nothing. approach his probability okay. bounds. Desdemona. Operation Jackpot was a success? Oh, thank God. We were running perilously low on supplies. Rebuilding takes time, but we have the men and women to do it. <clears throat> the DIA. Shit, man. The cash you found has some real serious high tech. But the creme de la creme is ballistic well, maybe powder weed. Lightweight, serious stock. I got some in stock now. Oh, give me some time. Let's take a look. Made a new batch of whatnots for it. Okay, so now you can see that armored items are available. Which is great, because that is just what, uh, what we need. For every synth that makes it out, there's a round on me. So just to, to show this off a little bit, I believe I can craft these now. Um, Bingo. Not that necessary. I actually typically use the cryo later. But... Are you injured? It's a wonder you and Glory don't set off metal detectors. So you can see, uh, take a look at the armor here. With nothing, it's a, a zero, zero, I think, but you can add up to five ranks of ballistic weave on uh, general pieces of gear. And so you can't actually do anything with most armor. Delightful. Let's waste more of my time, shall we? But I have them wearing this Minuteman outfit for this entire time. And so anything else that I might decide to wear, under all my clothing, uh, I should be able to bump up the armor way, way up now. So that's that's the point of this whole quest line. I'm not super interested in doing other quests for the railroad. Let's see, what else do we want to do? Action goal is always tempting. Uh, yeah, I already have science. It's also tempting to build up my strength so that I can get strung back. But I think what I'm gonna do. I'll take Rifleman up another level. Just because this will mean that. You'll see that this now does 208 damage. And all my, all my other uh, weapons, just uh, just that, that level of damage. Heads up. So Tom's got more good. So ordinarily I don't 
like to make you watch me tinker with my gear. Stop. But here it might be kind of interesting. <clears throat> First we need to pick what basic piece of armor is going to be uh, probably the the undergear that we're going to wear for the rest of the game. At least, uh, at least for the foreseeable future. Pop off our junk. Probably not going to use that for now. So again, if, if we take a look at... Oh, well, apparently he gave us that. What we're wearing right now is a Minuteman outfit, which is agility and perception. Is that what we want to wear? Well, let's see. I've never been that hammer and nail sort of guy. So, Minuteman outfit, it is... It actually doesn't show up uh, anywhere uh, on here. So, it, like, with here you can see it flashes, which means it takes up all the slots. Underwear doesn't show up uh, here. So, what we're going to do is... Definitely not wearing the sweater vest. I believe Army Fatigues is another underwear. It's another strength and agility. Oh, uh, this is actually agility and perception. Army Fatigue is strength and agility. I wish that the game had some intelligence underwear. But I don't believe it does. It would also be nice if there were some good sorting options. Uh, the Destroyer's Helmet is pretty tempting. But the thing is, we're wearing a top hat that boosts your uh, speed. And I value that above most other things that you might possibly wear. I think fancy suit and tie might be another piece of underwear we'll check. Basically we'll grab all the things that are good candidates. Uh, two to luck is kind of tempting. Lab coat, I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure it actually takes up a whole lot of slots. But we'll grab it just in case. Maybe a mechanic jumpsuit. That might be... And I'm hoping that this is just kind of interesting and in that it shows you how I tend to think about uh, about gear and you'll see the methodical way. But I believe it, it makes sense to work your way through these things. See, Captain's Hat, it really is a nice piece of gear. Two Endurance gives you appreciable amounts of health. Again, vault lab coat. I am pretty sure that that's another one of those things that takes up lots of slots. Well, let's see. <coughs> so, Agatha's stress, uh, or Agatha's stress, takes up all the slots. Fancy suit and tie takes up none of the slots, which means it's a good candidate if it can be modified. Lab coat takes all the slots. Mechanic jumpsuit takes all the uh, all the slots. Voltec lab coat takes all the slots, so we're mostly hitting zero here. Let's see what we can do. So it looks like mechanic jumpsuit is going to be our piece of gear, I think. And we're picking it largely because we can get some intelligence out of it. So let's put that thing on. I'm hoping I, I got this right. Oh, does it? It takes all the slots. Damn it, I got confused. Okay. And I'm pretty sure.
pretty sure the vault tech lab coat did too. Yeah. That is really annoying. And the fancy suit and tie, I guess it's not modifiable. I think it's probably helpful enough that I just showed you my my approach Got to all trouble. of this. No. Um, I will. Oh, okay. I guess apparently. Somebody's attacking right now. So at least at this moment, I'm gonna go and deal with that. Stop by and see what's going on. Okay, I'll just pass. Um, I will figure out what my next piece of gear is going to be. But we achieved our end here that uh, w once we have it figured out, we're going to be much less vulnerable for the rest of the quests. I think I, I have an idea for another piece of gear that I that might take a little bit of power armoring. I'll let you know at the beginning of my next video what I'm doing there. Um, hopefully we'll keep working on our gear and then we'll switch back to more of the fun kind of exploration stuff. Take care and bye-bye.